El Nino is here. And that has to be a good thing, right? With all this rain and snow, we'll finally start climbing out of the drought, right? Short answer is no, and that should make you mad. Why? Because for no logical reason, we are allowing most of El Nino's water to flow out to the ocean. That's right, three billion gallons of extra water are passing underneath the Golden Gate Bridge every single day. We're not talking about the water we need to protect fish or the environment. That water is already being accounted for. No, this is additional water that could be captured and stored for use by farms and cities. This year alone, enough water has been lost to supply 1.2 million families for a year, or bring back more than 140,000 acres of productive farmland that has been left unplanted. So who or what is to blame for this insanity? For one, the state and federal government. The agencies in charge of managing our water have abused their discretion under the Endangered Species Act and have flushed huge amounts of water out to sea. Since the beginning of the year, the Delta pumps responsible for bringing water to 29 million Californians have been restricted by 60%. To make a long story short, by summer, we'll again shut off water to thousands of farms and force cities to scramble with very little to show from this El Nino. So what can you do to help turn on the pumps and fill our reservoirs? Start by getting involved. Tweet your thoughts to Senators Feinstein and Boxer and Governor Brown. Demand that they direct federal and state agencies to capture and store the El Nino waters before it's too late. To educate yourself, visit the Western Growers Water page for more information.